but finally at the last supper discourse jesus said i have many thing to tell you but you cannot understand them now but when the holy spirit come he will teach you everything so let us take john chapter 14 john chapter 14 John chapter or we can take 16 John chapter 16 12 can you all take in your bible tomorrow when you come everyone should have the bible okay everyone everyone should bring your bible okay now take John chapter 16 12 and 13 it says i have much more to tell you but you cannot bear it now that is at the situation before jesus's passion but when he comes the spirit of truth he will guide you to all the truth he will not speak on his own but he will speak what he hears and will declare to you the things that are coming so in fact in the last supper discourse after the last supper before his passion the whole discussion or discourse jesus was giving us about the holy spirit so holy spirit in john chapter 14 15 16 he says if you love me john 14 15 and 16 if you love me you will keep my commandments and i will ask the father he will give you another advocate to be with you always to be with you always so jesus is one advocate he says i will ask the father he will give you another advocate another advocate so holy spirit is an advocate a helper to help you to strengthen you to deliver you to make you holy so we have to know more about the person holy spirit holy spirit is the third person of the trinity as we know we already know the holy spirit is already in us but when we know more and more about the gifts of the holy spirit or the working of the holy spirit then then only it will be very very interesting very interesting <coughs> so we will continue to learn about the different ways how holy spirit work in us different ways how holy spirit work in us here in john chapter 14 26 john 14 26 jesus said that to get the holy spirit that the father will send in my name he will teach you everything everything he will teach you everything and remind you of that remind you of that i told you so jesus is teaching 
even jesus is teaching we will not understand or we will not remember without the holy spirit and holy spirit himself also will teach us so in your whole life of formation you learn so many things i hope every day you will be praying to holy spirit to holy spirit help you to learn so holy spirit is a teacher who reveals us now i tell you an example imagine this glass is like our mind our mind look here everybody are you ready are you sleeping <laughs> raise your hand okay ready this is like our mind so you know in malayalam we say manasilayo <laughs> manasilayo means is it in your mind have you received in your mind do you understand understand means yeah understood okay this is now understood because it is received in the mind now imagine such a element with the five different entities this thing see it's not going in see it is not going in manasil agudilla manasil agudilla it's not understanding it's not going in the mind now what will what we should do oh holy spirit i cannot understand this it is too big to enter into my mind now look here holy spirit will help us see holy spirit will work on this five elements see correct holy spirit without losing the five elements identity that five elements he make it possible to go in see now it is going in yes look here now this is called understanding manasilai manasilayo manasilayo manasilai understood so understanding so there are very many things so difficult to understand but the holy spirit can make it possible to understand so in the holy scripture also in the divine uh, in the liturgy or in the mysteries of christ so many things we don't understand we don't understand so also god has given us many gifts but we don't understand so we should say oh holy spirit i am a i am a pupil i am a student teach me holy spirit teach me so this is one word which can help your whole life every day every hour you can receive help john 14:26 please read it again and make it your own john 14:26 come on everybody loudly recite this word the advocate 
everybody is the advocate the holy spirit that the father will send in my name he will teach you everything he will teach you everything and remind you of all that i told you okay so with this confidence let us pray oh holy spirit come on oh holy spirit teach me teach me about my own charisms teach me about my call teach me about evangelization teach me about the working of the holy spirit oh holy spirit teach me help me to understand the mysteries of the kingdom of god help me now everybody raise your hand and pray hallelujah hallelujah oh holy spirit oh holy spirit help us holy spirit help us holy spirit help us holy spirit so every time <laughs> you know just couple of days back i had to write an article for a magazine so the responsible person was following up the article has not come please send it immediately oh my god i forgot about it now i had to write this quickly i have to get the inspiration and start writing so i said oh holy spirit i am so sorry i am so tired i am not able to do it but i am a pencil in your hand holy spirit holy spirit i am a pen in your hand please you write for me holy spirit you do it for me help me holy spirit i don't know within 5 minutes i got such a power i got such a motivation i got up and cried said it right <laughs> and in one hour the article was ready so when the lord has called us for evangelization that means or that does not mean that we have to do everything alone we should not do anything without the help of the holy spirit that is evangelization everything must be done with the help of the holy spirit so we should have a habit always asking holy spirit help me holy spirit help me holy spirit teach me holy spirit anoint me holy spirit oh another word okay another word parallel to this we have to learn in john 1526 we now heard 1426 now please read 1526 1526 everybody 1526 when the advocate comes whom i will send you from the father the spirit of truth that proceed from the father he will testify to me he will testify to me everybody loved her come on please repeat after me when the advocate comes whom i will send you from the father 
the spirit of truth that proceeds from the Father, he will testify to me. Now this, what is the difference between 1426 and 1526? Please see, in 1426 says, 1426 says, advocate the Holy Spirit that the Father will send in my name. 1526 says, I will send from the Father. 1426 says, the Father will send you in my name. 1526 says, I will send you from the Father. So that is how we know the teaching of the church, the Holy Spirit who come from the Father and the Son. Holy Spirit who come from the Father and the Son. The Holy Spirit is a person, the third person of the Trinity, who is adored with the Father and the Son, who is consubstantial with the Father and the Son. Okay, now let us pray once again. Praise you, Holy Spirit. Everybody, praise you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit. Fill my heart with your wisdom. With your wisdom. With your enlightenment. With your strength. With your courage. Oh, Holy Spirit. Fill me, Holy Spirit. Fill me, Holy Spirit. Strengthen me, Holy Spirit. Strengthen me, Holy Spirit. Yes. Now, another word we must be familiar with, anointing, anointing. In 1st John, the letter of St. John, not gospel, letter, that is the last the letter of St. John. St. John has three letters written. First letter, 1 John chapter 227. 1 John chapter 227. Can you open and read? 1 John chapter 227. One John chapter two twenty seven. Can you all read it louder, please? All of you read in your Bible, chapter two twenty seven. As for you, everybody, as for you, the anointing that you received from him. Remain in you so that you do not need anyone to teach you. But this anointing teaches you about everything. Now, please, please read it louder. Please read it louder. Yes. Come on. Once again, raise your one hand and proclaim. As for you, the anointing that you received from him remain in you 
so that you do not need anyone to teach you. But his anointing teaches you about everything. And is true and not false. Just as he taught you, remain in him. So, the anointing means it flows from Jesus. Jesus, after the baptism, let us take Luke chapter, Luke chapter 4, Luke chapter 4, 18. Luke chapter 4, 18. Jesus himself, after baptism, 4, 18. 418. Have you got it? 418. Everybody? 418. After baptism, he began to proclaim and he began to say, Everybody, louder, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Come on. He has anointed me. Yeah, so that's it. When Jesus received the baptism, the Holy Spirit came upon him. So anointing is ascending and to do a particular action through the work of Holy Spirit. So Jesus was 30 years praying but did not do any proclamation. But after the baptism, he received the anointing. Then he could not sit anywhere quietly. <laughs> he began to proclaim. So he said, the anointing is given to me. For what? For what? Say everybody. The anointing, the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has, everybody louder, he has anointed me. Everybody louder. He has anointed me to proclaim the good news and to heal the sick and to release the captives from the captivity. So that is the anointing. So Jesus himself was born through the work of the Holy Spirit but he began to, he could do all, he could do, eh? he could do great things only after he received the anointing. So, in our life, this anointing is given to us through baptism, confirmation, yeah, and Eucharist also. So, when we pray more and more, when we pray more and more for the anointing, then we get such a powerful experience. You know, when I was, I tell you a little bit of my testimony. I was an engineer, a mechanical engineer, doing big, big uh, factory construction, in different parts of the country. Uh, in a very factory construction, there are very critical, very diff difficult works. Like I came in Nagpur, there is a place called Butiburi, Butiburi near Nagpur. There was a big factory construction. So, uh, a in the factory, there is huge chimney, chimney, you know, chimney where the smoke is going out. So a construction of chimney was happening, but the person who did that construction could not do it. The chimney was going little bit, little bit in a wrong direction, not straight. So the work was stopped. Then they were searching for a 
company, a, a expert who can make it straight and construct it faster. So finally they found me and I have been given the contract to construct that chimney. The chimney is made out of very big steel plates. Yeah, and the welding, etc. has to be done. It is a very, very difficult job. But thank God, even at that time, I used to pray, Oh, Holy Spirit, Oh Lord, give me idea. And anyway, so like that, I have done very, very critical works of many factories in Nagpur, in Jabalpur, in Rajasthan, in Mumbai, etc. And there came a time I felt great desire to read more gospel, Bible, and also listen, listen the word of God. So, in fact, it began because in Hindi Bible, John's Gospel begins with this word, Adimem Shabdha. Boliye, Adimem Shabdha. Shabd Ishwar ke saath tha. Shabd Ishwari tha. <laughs> it was a very new dimension for me. All other Bibles say, in the beginning was the word. In Malayalam we say, Adil Vajanamundai. In English we say, in the beginning was the word. Word means something written. But in Hindi, Bible, it was translated by a European priest, his name is Father Kamel Bulke, a Belgian priest, Jesuit priest. He came to India, he learned Hindi, he wrote a dictionary for Hindi, he became an expert in Hindi and he translated the Bible. And that translation is a beautiful translation. Adimem Shabdha. Shabd Ishwar ke Satdha. Shabd Ishwarita. Then I realized, along with that, there is another word in Romans chapter 10. Romans chapter 10, 17 says, Sunne se Vishwas paida hota hai. Utpan hota hai. Sorry, paida ne. Utpan. Boliye? Sunne se Vishwas Utpan hota hai Sunne se Vishwas Utpan hota hai Sunna chahiye Is vajan Listening Produce faith And One should listen The word of Christ I got a motivation to record in a cassette recorder the gospel passages and I began to hear this in order to increase my faith. In such a time, I got a complete packet of a 20 cassettes of a retreat, a retreat by a very renowned preacher his name was Father Rufus Pereira, James D'Souza. They are from Mumbai. And in the train, I was traveling from Mumbai to Jabalpur. So it was about two days of train journey. So I took all these cassettes and with a earphone, I was continuously listening this. When I was listening this, it has given me such a great joy, such a great anointing. So many things what 
was spoken in that is very new to me i never heard such preaching and at the end the retreat it was a retreat at the end there is a anointing prayer so we will have on the last day a anointing prayer that is for the holy spirit to fill us more and during that time i also prayed for a anointing and during that time suddenly the holy spirit opened my heart with the powerful anointing i began to speak loud like in the day of pentecost there is a gift of tongues speaking in tongues singing in tongues praying in tongues these gifts started manifesting in me shala bara kira lamara khala bara kira something like that everybody raise your hands hallelujah hallelujah praise you jesus praise you jesus thank you jesus and so in the train <laughs> when the people heard this voice they were really astonished what's happened to this man so they came to me so i said nothing no problem no problem i am all right <laughs> then i came down from the upper berth and i was sitting at the window <coughs> and now one man came to me and asked are bhai sahab aapko kya ho gaya so i said no no mujhe kuch kuch burai nahi hua mujhe prabhu hi sa masi ka anubhav hua hai i said i have experienced jesus christ i experienced holy spirit then this man asked isa masi o kon hota hai ah then i said Uh, even i i was about to answer this another man from his behind come and say are o to isaiyo ka bhagwan hai hamare sath koi sambandh nahi hat hat aisa bola he is the he is the god of christians we have nothing to do but i said no don't say like that Jesus Christ is not a private property of Christians alone. I don't know who is speaking. <laughs> I never spoke like this in my life. I could really experience somebody else speaking from inside. That is the Holy Spirit. The first thing I spoke was everybody raise your hand. हेलो 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 कैन यू स्टैंड अप कैन यू जस्ट स्टैंड अप एंड क्लैप योर हैंड्स हाल लुया हाल लुया हाल लुया हाल लुया हाल लुया हाल लुया बैठिए बैठिए आई नो इट्स अ वेरी हार्ड टाइम टू बी अवेक it's a time which is okay so when i said jesus christ is not a private property of christians alone when jesus came there were no christians <coughs> when jesus was born was there any christians no when jesus died there were no christians christianity came after pentecost those people who are filled with the holy spirit began to have different way of life whom people used to call oh they are christians it was okay so when i said this jesus christ is not a private property of christians jesus has come for the whole humanity he took the sin of the whole humanity he blesses the whole humanity he saves the whole humanity when i say this thing these people 
were very much interested to know more about Jesus. So in the train, I began to proclaim Jesus. So that is the anointing. When I received the anointing, without my preparation or without making any preparation, Holy Spirit began to preach through me. Now I realize I have a gift of preaching. <laughs> I have a gift of preaching. And at the end, maybe about 45 minutes I spoke. At the end, this man came and this man asked, Bhai Saab, aapke paas o Isa Masih ka autobiography hoga kya? He said, do you have the autobiography of Jesus Christ? So I told him, it is not known as autobiography, that is called Bible. So I had a Hindi Bible. I gave him that Hindi Bible showing Mark's Gospel. I said, you read this part. Gospel of Saint Mark, that's only 16 chapters, so one can easily read it and one can understand about Jesus Christ. This I also recommend to you, you must read in these days Mark's Gospel, Gospel of Mark. In one sitting you will be able to read 16 chapters and which will give you a very strong experience and understanding about the working of the miracles and working of proclamation of Jesus. And after that, slowly, slowly, God started using me everywhere. One day, I was in another town, so I went to the parish priest. The parish priest, uh, I introduced myself. I am coming from Bombay. I am an engineer. I have come to this factory. I will be here a few months. So I like to work with you, Father, in evangelization. All this I was speaking and I was sharing my God experience. That sharing went on more than three hours. <laughs> I went about 6 o'clock, evening, uh, 7, 8, 9, more than 9. Then the priest said, oh, come on, let us have supper. And we had supper afterwards. The priest took me in the motorcycle and left into my place where I am staying. I have to, I told him morning, morning 9 o'clock, I have to go to the factory. Then evening, I come again, so we can discuss. <clears throat> but morning 9 o'clock, when I was about to go, this priest is coming again in the motorcycle, ki, ki, ki. Then, he said, Thomas Paul, uh, I am in a, I need your help. Yes, tell me. He said there was a deanery meeting. Deanery means uh, many churches together. A uh, one deanery. So there is a, a retreat for the deanery of the priest and religious. So there were about 20 priests and 40 sisters. They will gather in his parish of uh, office. But there was a retreat preacher who was to come. He became sick. And he rang up and said, he's suffering with a stomach problem and diarrhea. He cannot come. Okay, so what can I do? You please come and preach. I said, oh my God, I never preached to the priests or sisters. No, 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 yesterday night you preached three hours to me. I am a priest, he said. 
and all what you said was very very powerful testimony that is preaching you spoke your god experience you spoke the bible words of jesus you spoke the miraculous things happened in your life that is called preaching ah uh, oh uh-huh, okay so if i say all what i said yesterday with you is that okay yes yes that is okay ah uh, i said okay then i come <laughs> that was my first preaching to the priests and religious and <laughs> i never knew we have to speak 45 minutes then give an interval of some time particularly for the priest and all i began to speak and it went on like that when i looked it is 3 hours over 3 hours 3 hours in one stretch i began i gave but all the priest they all experience an anointing and they all congratulated me and all invited me to their own parishes to come and proclaim so that was my first preaching to the priest and religious and later on in divine retreat center divine retreat center in kerala that is the biggest retreat center in the world they i started i was invited there for various retreats and then the responsible father father george panekel told me thomas paul the holy spirit is asking me that you preach to the sisters and the priests okay if the holy spirit say i will do and the date is fixed so those days i was living in mumbai so about one week back i rang up divine retreat center to know how many people have registered for this retreat to my astonishment it was a shock to me the office the divine retreat center office said whether there are 2000 sisters and 300 priests oh my god <laughs> i started shivering 2000 sisters and i i never faced such an audience oh i told my wife and my friends no i will not go i will not go <laughs> when i don't come the other priests they will preach i will not go i am afraid but then my parish priest came he said no 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 this is called moses syndrome moses syndrome when god called moses he even had no ability to speak he was having stammering <laughs> God called Moses to go. Moses began to stammer. He said, "I cannot even speak. Who are you sending?" But God said, "No, you will speak. You go." So finally, the parish priest prayed over me, and I felt more courage, and I began. I traveled to Kerala. and on the on while we were going as a team i was praying and that is the time i wrote my first song that song you may all know that song sister ne kal kalwari kalwari se sunti सुनता हूं मैं ओ गाना आपको मालूम है किसी को कैन यू सिंग दैट कम ऑन सिंग मैं सिंग 
अभी आप लोग सबको मालूम है गाना लेकिन आपको ये मालूम नहीं था ये किसका किस तरह लिखा हुआ है अभी आप जिसको देख रहे हैं जिसके द्वारा ये गाना लिखा है है ना लोया इट वॉज रिटर्न ओरिजिनली इन मलयालम सो वी विल ट्राई टू सिंग दैट കുരിശിൽ നിന്നു ഞാനി സ്വരം കേട്ടു ഇതാണു നിന്റെ അമ്മ പ്രാണപ്പീഠയൽപ്പീടയുന്ന നാഥനെന്ന് അന്ത്യസമ്മാനമായി എനിക്കു നൽകി അമ്മേ അമ്മേ കുരിശിൽ നിന്നു ഞാനി സ്വരം കേട്ടു ഇതാണു നിന്റെ അമ്മ കാനായിൽ വന്നപ്പോൾ എൻ ഹൃദയത്തിൽ ു കടന്നു വന്നിടണേ അവരുടെ വീഞ്ഞ് തീർന്നു പോയി എന്ന് പുത്രനോടൊന്നു നീ ചൊല്ലിയിടണേ അമ്മേ 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 So like that, many songs I have written, another is the Holy Spirit song, which we have learned from Sigai. And when I was at the beginning of this famous retreat, I was introducing this song and said, My dear fathers and sisters, Mother Mary, when Mother Mary, stood at the foot of the cross seeing her own son is being killed in front of her eyes who can stand that and at that moment the sun become dark the moon become dark the rock broke the earth shook but unshakable Mary stood at the cross and when I was saying this all sisters and even fathers were crying, crying and we sang this song and that was the first retreat which got which became so popular that was the name of the retreat is holiness retreat another song 
another song you may be knowing that is sanctify me oh lord cleanse my body mind and soul purify me and make me whole this is another famous song so slowly slowly i become very popular in india i had to travel across the country every week there is a retreat for priests and religious and like that many years passed by and then i was in saldana that is in meerut in meerut giving retreat to the diocese of meerut so the bishop told me here in saldana meerut it's a very famous shrine of mother mary the seat of wisdom and there is a beautiful beautiful statue of mother mary which was made in italy and transported to saldana and installed there so the bishop said here is a place here is the place an italian priest was murdered murdered an italian priest his name was adevdatos i said bishop can you take me to his tomb i would like to pray because a european missionary came to india to evangelize our people he was murdered while i was praying at the tomb of this priest i had i began to have an experience i heard a voice the voice said we we that means many other priests also we came to india gave our life for your people what way you can thank god i said that is such a great thing nothing would be enough to thank and then i heard again a voice can you come to our country and help our people so spontaneously i said yes <laughs> and at that time again i got a anointing anointing is a holy spirit poured on me and then the lord started speaking to me to pray for europe and to have a prayer house only to pray for europe for the evangelization of europe and then slowly when we were praying for europe I received a call from Germany inviting me to come to Germany but I said almost one year I am full after one year I will come then they booked me up for 3 months after one year me Shaji and many other team members we reached Germany as soon as we reached we immediately started 24 hours prayer for the evangelization of europe and that prayer house is even now going on that was in the year 2000 so from that time i am most of the time in evangelizing germany austria switzerland france poland uh, slovakia like that so the mission started there and so many europeans joined with us and began to i i began to train them to evangelize so that is what i am doing now in europe so most of the time i am in europe doing evangelization work 
among the native European people now presently the native German native people. <clears throat> so, my dear friends, it's important the anointing, it's important the listening of the Holy Spirit. So, let us all stand up and pray, asking the Holy Spirit to give you an anointing. Everybody, raise your hands and pray, asking the Holy Spirit. Oh, Holy Spirit, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Everybody, come Holy Spirit, give us the anointing. Oh, Holy Spirit, open the anointing. Everybody praising, praise you Jesus. Thank you Lord. Come on, louder. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Praise you Jesus, thank you Jesus. Open, oh Holy Spirit. Come Holy Spirit. Come on, clap our hands. Come Holy Spirit. Anoint us Holy Spirit. Come Holy Spirit. Anoint us Holy Spirit. Open the anointing. Come Holy Spirit. Open the anointing. Come Holy Spirit. Open the anointing. Hallelujah. 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 So now we are going to have a one hour break for tea and for baths, etc. But I wish you pray, even while you are taking bath, you must pray. What will you pray? Come Holy Spirit. Come Holy Spirit. Come on everybody. Come Holy Spirit. Come Holy Spirit. Anoint me. Come Holy Spirit. Come Holy Spirit. Okay? Will you do that? Yeah. Then when you come back, I will have another session. Then we will have another workshop of praying for the charisms. Then you will see visions. Many gifts of the Holy Spirit started working in you. Okay? So, God bless you. Now you can go for tea. God bless you.